Well, it's been a couple of years since I did a re video review of this Valman frequency counter, which is available under a variety of different badges. And something like 9,000 people have watched the video and there's been a few comments about the device and in particular some people have uh, said that it's uh, not particularly accurate. So I've recently acquired something that would enable us to determine just how accurate it is, which is this little device here, which is a GPS disciplined reference oscillator. And this is available from the British company Leo Bodnar. And as you can see, it has two outputs and these can be configured via the USB connection anywhere up to 800 megahertz, but they are presently set to 10 megahertz, which is a fairly standard sort of reference frequency for testing equipment of this type. So let's plug in a 10 megahertz reference oscillator and see how accurate the frequency counter is. Well, that's on the minimum gate time and uh, I think there's no question that that says 10 megahertz. Uh, let's increase the gate time to get some more significant figures. There we are with uh, four figures after the decimal point and it's still reading exactly 10 megahertz. And let's put it up to the maximum gate time which is 10 seconds give it time to uh, count and we'll see what the result is. There we are. We have got two counts out in the least significant digit. So that's reading 10.0002 megahertz. That is in fact an error of 20 hertz in 10 megahertz or two hertz in one million hertz, which is an error of two parts per million. Now, I don't think that is a bad result for what is a fairly inexpensive frequency counter. I haven't actually taken the lid off to look inside and see whether there is a calibrate um, adjustment on it. I have searched on the internet to see if I can find a manual for it and I haven't been successful in doing that and I must confess I don't like playing around in equipment without a manual because it's possible that you could alter things that could be very difficult to bring back again. However, there is the uh, frequency counter. It's been on for about 10 or 15 minutes so it's not f completely warmed up at present but the error is two parts per million which I don't think is too bad for what is a fairly inexpensive instrument.